I liked One's Justice a lot. The universal mechanics were way better than any other arena fighter I had ever played at the time and they used characters from a franchise that I love. But the game's success was limited by a non-global release and a small budget. And on top of that, it was the franchise's first attempt at an arena fighter. I was already under the impression that Viking Studios would get another chance at a My Hero Academia arena fighter. But that opinion, that theory was cemented by a survey that happened all the way back in January. Big shout outs to Papa Birdo for this because if it wasn't for the video that he did covering the subject all the way back in January, I would not have a documented version of these survey questions. So thank you so much Birdo for uploading that video. Go check out Birdo, he does awesome Jump Force content. The survey in question was about Once Justice 1, but when you look at the specific questions that were asked, or at least some of them, they don't really make sense. For example, they had questions like this. Are you interested in a collector's edition? Which items do you expect to see in a collector's edition? If the collector's edition were to contain figures, which characters would you want to see? And finally, would you be interested in an English voiceover for the next game? All these questions seem to point towards another One's Justice game, because why would they need to ask questions about a collector's edition? They're not going to release a collector's edition now for a game that released so long ago, unless they were doing some type of re-release, which doesn't look like they're doing. Also, one of the answers to the question about the collector's edition was, season pass, which is odd because there's no reason for One's Justice to have a season pass. It doesn't have a season pass currently, and on top of that, there's only two possible characters they could add to said season pass. Those characters are Inasa and Endeavor. Endeavor was a pre-order bonus here in the West, but he was a DLC character in Japan, and Inasa was a DLC character in both the West and Japan. But regardless, a season pass with two characters isn't really a season pass. So unless they plan to do future DLC content for Once Justice 1, which would be fairly redundant at this point, I'm pretty sure this question is specifically about Once Justice 2. And then the survey asks about figures you would like to see in the Collector's Edition, and two of the characters they list are Mirio and Overhaul as potential featured characters. I don't know if you've played Once Justice, but Mirio and Overhaul aren't in that damn game. However, each of those characters would 100% be in the next Once Justice game. Oh, and of course, they also specifically asked about Dub in the next game. Once Justice 2 is almost definitely happening. It might not be called Once Justice 2, but it will be an arena fighter made by Viking Studios in the Once Justice world. As a side note, they also asked about what genre of games you would like to see future My Hero Academia games take place in, and one of the options was 2D fighting game. And if you filled out this survey and you didn't select 2D fighting game, I'm not sure we can be friends, I'll have to take it under consideration, but I'm pretty sure you've been excluded. But back to the topic of this video, what would I like to see from Once Justice 2? First of all, I would like to remove wall combat. Wall combat was interesting. Because of this splat mechanic that you could do both on the wall and on the ground, but it was all because of the wall mechanic. I know that kind of sounds a little bit complicated, but regardless, the splat mechanic is what led to a lot of characters' optimal damage. But the wall mechanic specifically always felt a little bit incomplete. For example, you're given a limited amount of time on the wall, and once time runs out, both players just fall to the ground. But falling to the ground takes time, and you can act during that time, and you can't block in the air, so people could just cheese out full combos from you as soon as you started falling from the wall. Now granted there is perfect block, but that doesn't protect you from a full combo. It certainly wasn't broken, but it was certainly frustrating. If the wall mechanic returns, I'd like to see it expanded upon significantly and hopefully improved drastically. Naruto Storm 1 did have a wall mechanic that was completely scrapped in Storm 2, and I hope to see the same happen here. Secondly, I would like to see more customization. Once Justice did a really, really amazing job with customization. Being able to customize my character in various ways with a large variety of aesthetics and colors was super awesome. I really hope Once Justice 2 does not drop this feature because personally, it was one of my favorite things about Once Justice 1. So additional options in that system would be perfect. The second last feature is English dub. 
My first experience with My Hero Academia was with the English dub, it's my preferred way to consume the series. Thankfully, the Japanese voices and the English voices actually are fairly similar aesthetically, like Bakugo still got that kind of raspy, rough voice, so it's not too difficult to get over because most of the characters remain kind of similar. But ideally, in the next game, I would very much like to see the option of both English and Japanese, and after all, it is one of the questions on the survey, so clearly it's on their mind. And finally, possibly the most important feature, new characters. Obviously, Once Justice 2 would by default include our new Season 4 characters. Characters like every single one of the members of the Big 3, including Mirio, Hado, and Tamaki. But I hope Once Justice 2 doesn't forget about the other Class 1A reps who didn't make it to Once Justice 1. Characters like Saro, characters like Mina, Yuga, Shoji, or heck, even... Ojiro. But even outside of Class 1A, there's a couple characters we missed out on. Considering Tetsu Tetsu would just be a clone of Kirishima's Once Justice 1 moveset, why not just add him into Once Justice 2? Granted, he's not really a highly requested character, but he could literally just copy at least Kirishima's Once Justice moveset, maybe not his Once Justice 2 moveset, but at least his Once Justice moveset. And then you've got other characters like Best Genist, Kamui Woods, heck, even Gang Orca and Death Arms. These characters are probably a little too obscure to make it into a Once Justice 2, but I would at least like to see a couple of them represented. Let me know in the comments what additional features you would like to see in Once Justice 2. If you could leave a like on this video, it does help other people find it. Spread the good word of Once Justice 2. Subscribe to keep up to date with future content. My name's been Bilbsy, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, one more request before I go. Uh, please never add Mineta in any My Hero Academia game. Thank you very much.